podcast stitched together from the corpses of mystery, noir, and gothic literature and cinema. I'm Morgan, and I am here with Brent today. And I'm Brent, and I'm here with Morgan today. Yay! It's not a proper episode, so I didn't really want to go too formal. Um, so I've had some amazing messages from people while we've been kind of patchy with our release dates. Um, I've included... Wait, people are interested that we're not releasing stuff? I'm not... It's coincidental. Oh. Yeah. I thought so, people were like demanding episodes or something. It's been another one about my Sir Henry, Lord Henry oh, okay. debacle. Yeah. Uh, which... I think has to be the most notorious cock up we've done to date. But another message, which was wonderful, and I'm not saying it wasn't, uh, hinted strongly that our definition of gothic may be too broad. Oh. Yeah. So this is just a quick reminder that our definition of gothic is in one of our first episodes. It's called Bats Optional, and we don't claim to be right in our definition. And it's an evolving definition, but it serves our purposes for the podcast. When I'm researching, um, I tend to uh, search on academic websites for like, if somebody has talked about it as a gothic novel, um, a scholar or something, and at the bare minimum, there has to be a well-constructed think piece or that I can construct a pretty solid argument for the gothic label. Yeah. I do need to be more mindful about showing our work and including these things in the podcast because otherwise it can seem a bit disjointed and not very... (laughs) <laughs> but anyway, so in the meantime, I thought we might play a little game to demonstrate what kind of thing we are defining as gothic. Oh. So I'm calling this everything is gothic except when it's not and then it's something else. Okay. Until we think of a better name for this. <laughs> <laughs> are we ta- going to think of a better name for I this? I will be taking suggestions via email and Twitter. Um, <laughs> so here's so how just we- run me by this name again. Everything is gothic except when it's not and then it's something else. Okay. Okay? Okay. 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 I'm, I'm down. Okay. So here's the way we played. Do you have that list of five media things? I do have the list of five. Things. They have nothing to do with gothic. Perfect. Cool. So I made a list too, but it's a little bit longer. So what has to happen is one of the, whoever's turn it is to say the gothic thing. You say it and then you count to three and then we both have to say whether we think it's gothic or not at the same time. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. we can break it down afterwards. All right. All right. And a quick Google will be our tiebreaker. All right. Deal? Deal. So, what, what's a tiebreaker like if we if choose? We, if we can't decide. If we can't decide. If we okay, can't yeah, decide, yeah. then we do blah, blah, blah plus gothic. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, and yeah. See, if and see if anything pops. pops up. Okay. Okay, do you want to start with some easy ones? Yeah, sure. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. One, two, three. Gothic. Something else. Ah, <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Why do you think it's something else? I don't know, because I haven't really seen much. I think I've only watched a series of it once or a show of it once or something. That was gothic. Like, yeah, You're thinking of I, Jekyll. Yeah. Yeah, that was an adapt ad- an adaptation of it. That was, yeah. Yeah. It didn't seem very gothic to me. Like, it was dark. There were but dual personalities. It- <laughs> and Yeah. But I wouldn't define it as gothic. I don't even know if I have to Google this because honestly, <laughs> I've been researching right. it for a future You're episode. Right. Yeah, but this this is my opinion. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's see what it says on ye olde internet. No, I just can't believe we disagreed on the first one. <laughs> this is a <the> test one. <laughs> it's literally in my book, The Gothic Treasury of the Supernatural. <laughs> well, then you've got your answer. What did yeah, gothic say? elements in the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Well, there you go. I was wrong. You yes, were right. you were wrong. <laughs> okay, you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Mission Impossibles, all of them. Three, two, one. Something Not gothic. Else. Yep, something yeah. else. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. Sleepy Hollow. Three, two, one. Gothic. gothic. Yay! Okay, The Simpsons. Three, two, one, Not something gothic, else. Something else, yeah. yeah. But the Treehouse of Horror, three, two, one, gothic. gothic. Okay, it's your turn to have some of yours. Oh, my one. We'll ones. take it in turns right, now. take it in turns now. Okay, 
So my first, and these are in no particular order. Um, what we do in the shadows. Three, Three two, one. Gothic. gothic. Yeah. Pseudo gothic, like you know, mock yeah, parody yeah. gothic. Well, yeah. yeah, the whole thing was parody. Yeah. So it, it was excellent yeah. parody, though. It was amazing. Okay, my turn. Yeah. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Three, two, one. Gothic. gothic. I've studied it as a gothic text. Yeah. So. All right, your turn. Uh, <laughs> I feel really silly now. 24 hour party people. <laughs> Three, two, one. Something, uh, something else. else. <laughs> something completely else. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Shakespeare's Macbeth. Three, Three, two, two one, one. Gothic. Something else? Okay, so it's we're kind of both right on that one. So it was before Gothic was defined as a genre, but it has a lot of Gothic elements. So historically speaking, it's not Gothic. But if we're talking as far as Gothic definition is concerned, it's probably Gothic. So okay. that one was a bit iffy no matter what. Your turn. Uh, <laughs> so rock to mention. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's hard. <laughs> yeah, can you count in? Three, two, one. Something, something else. else. <laughs> I mean, it has dark tendencies, but I wouldn't call it gothic. <laughs> Ten things I hate about you. Oh. Three, two, one. Something, something else. else. <laughs> Ten. Uh, I had drunk history. <laughs> Three, two, two, one. Gothic? Something else. Gothic. <laughs> I mean, some of the stories they talk about are kind of gothy. I guess. No, it's probably something else. Uh, okay, your turn. That's no, yours. Oh, you said drunk history. Yeah, it's a yeah. drunk history. Fight Club. Three, oh. two, one. Gothic. gothic. Yeah. yeah. There's lots of comparisons to Frankenstein and stuff like that. So. Yeah. Your turn. Uh, the Mighty Boosh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> three, two, two um, one. Gothic. Something else. I'm going with something else. It's dark. It is dark, but I wouldn't it's say got gothic. Lots of... Okay. If the cock... You'll have to Google. Get the Google decider out. All right, but you I mean, know... You can, you can it's plead got the your Cockney case. and it's got... um. What's his name? The one that drinks Bailey's out of a shoe. Oh, old Greg. Old Greg. Old Greg. Mighty. It's going to come up with, because it's going to come up with things, because there's a whole gothic episode. Well, there is. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> 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 I killed this one once. Shat on it. Right on it. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find out if it is gothic and all I'm getting is um, that episode. <laughs> yeah, well, that that was. I suppose that was going to happen. Um. Okay, let me try, in vain, to see if there's a scholarly article for whether the Mighty Bush is gothic. I would argue it's a gothic comedy. M- maybe, maybe you get it across the line. TV horror investigating the dark side of the small screen. So I'm having a hard time finding an actual sentence that identifies as gothic. It's just citing the same episode over and over again. I might have to give you that one. Yeah. I think it I'm, might be something else. Like I, th- I, I think would it, argue for it being gothic because th- there's a lot of um I'm not arguing for I'm not arguing for Vince Noir and Howard Moon being gothic just because they dress up as goths. I was more thinking, yeah, you're like your old Greg and your the the Cockney and um what the guy that's made of cheese and the mirrors and there's a lot of gothic storylines, in my opinion, but I can't verify that. So you, I think you've got that I think, one. I think you're right. I think there are, but I still wouldn't call it gothic as such. Like, it's there's close. There's a lot of gothic elements. Yeah, there's a fine line. That but... would actually be really interesting to look at the Mighty Boosh as a gothic text. I think that's really interesting. I don't think we could do it on the podcast, but maybe next time I have to do a paper, <laughs> I might try the Mighty Boosh as a gothic text. <laughs> Anyway, my turn. Your turn. The Broadway musical Cats. Three, oh, two, one. Something it's gothic. Else. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's something else. <laughs> it's uh, something completely something else. 
Okay, you're out now, or have you got one more? No, I'm, I think um, out. no, that was my last one. That was your yeah, last that one. Was my last one. Okay, excellent. So that's our poor excuse for a mini mini episode. <laughs> A microscopic episode? Yeah. 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 Um, the next time you will see me is on the 7th of July for another ep- bonus episode that may or may not include Brent. Brent will be back for the 13th. Yeah. We're going to attempt to do Sweeney, Sweeney Todd again. Sweeney Todd. Sweeney Todd. <laughs> um, for Sweeney Todd, for our book, TV, movie comparison. Unless he gets his butt into gear and puts out a solo episode, what's the probability of that? Uh, this week probably not very high. Okay. I have a fairly, I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of work. I have a show coming in that starts at six a.m. and finishes at seven o'clock. Mister Maker. It was Mister Maker. Mister Maker. Mister Maker live on stage. So yeah, follow us on Twitter or don't. It's potentially a free country where you are listening to us. And even if it's not, it's not particularly probable that our podcast is required listening for any despotic overlords or totalitarian governments. So there's a high probability that you have choice. Yeah. So follow us or don't. Listen to us or don't. Um, Yeah. But please listen to us. (laughs) Well, let's be honest. If they're not listening to us, they won't have heard that. No, I guess not. Do you feel like... Unless we, like, drive down the streets. Blast. (laughs) Listen to us. (laughs) Except for you, small child, cover your ears. You have no choice. Oh, wait, you have children. I'll turn it off. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Fuck, where's the fucking... The button, the fucking button. How do you turn this thing... That was a fun game. Thank you. I think we should play again sometime. I think we should play at the beginning of every episode. Email us if you want us to play any other silly games. <laughs> or, or email you us your suggestions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Suggest one for us to debate. We'll watch it and then we'll debate it. <laughs> <laughs> or we'll only pick the ones that we know, which won't be many because our cultural knowledge, our pop culture knowledge is not that great anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs>